Yo guys, it's Hax here, bringing you another MC5 video. I usually bring MC5 videos when there's an update upcoming, and I also bring a joke video, but this is the serious video, seriousness guys, on the upcoming update news. So anyways guys, let's get right into the news. Bad reference, but uh, let's actually talk about the update. So first thing I actually wanted to talk about for this video is the new class that Gameloft will be adding for the 1.9 update for Modern Combat, and the new class is called the Sapper. What we do know so far is the class will come with its own set of guns, uh, primary weapons, so it'll have like own assault rifle, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we also do know that its ability focuses kind of around turrets and placing turrets on the ground like mini turrets. Uh, they revealed a video today uh, showing a, a micro turret, a tier 1 micro turret uh, on the ground and killing some guy with a, with the toxic armor. We don't know if there's going to be more than one tier. Uh, assuming they called it a tier 1 turret, I'm assuming there's going to be tier 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and possibly 7 turrets. Uh, we don't know how overpowered it's going to be just yet, but uh, yes. Uh, with the new class, there's going to be a new set of abilities and stuff because it's a new class meaning you will need to save up your SP to actually unlock the abilities for the class as well. Um, another thing about the class, you can actually unlock it this time. You won't have to pay money. You won't have to pay actual money like you did with the Bounty Hunter. No $25 wasted. It's actually going to be worth credits now. So if you use credits, if you save up your credits, you can actually get the class without spending a dime on the game. So that's a good thing for uh, a lot of people. Uh, sad thing is you're gonna have to actually grind for the credits which might take a while but at least after a while you actually get the class you might be wondering how you're gonna be getting all these credits for the class uh, if you didn't know they're also removing tokens from the game you might be like but I, I use tokens to buy elite packs well don't worry uh, they're replacing all your tokens with credits when you log in daily you'll get credits instead of tokens um, I don't know how well that system's going to work out, but uh, it's going to be equivalent exchange. So pretty much if you have 120 tokens, you'll get 100 credits. Uh, if you didn't know, one elite pack is 120 uh, tokens and 100 credits. So it's not like you're getting ripped off or anything. All your tokens are becoming credits. So that'll be really good for buying new classes and that kind of stuff. Another thing about the update, I've heard that they're changing how they get the bounty hunter class. Uh, they're removing the money system from that, and you're actually going to be able to unlock that as well with uh, with credits. Uh, that kind of sucks for people who spend actual money on the game, but uh, you can now get it with credits. So save up your credits, and you can get both of the classes. Kind of kind of a good thing. Now the last major thing I know about for the 1.9 update is the spectator mode. Now uh, the spectator mode, I believe it's because all the tournaments they've been hosting recently. If you didn't know, Modern Combat's been hosting ESL tournaments. I played in two of them uh, for the SXC team. Um, but yeah, um, they've been hosting tournaments every week. They're actually having one this upcoming week on Sunday. It's open for anyone to sign up. So if you have a really good team, you think you're the best at MC5, recommend you sign up. There are rules, um, like no Bounty Hunter and uh, no Paragon Armor. So if you think you're going to be able to do that kind of stuff, you, you won't be able to do it in the tournament or you're going to forfeit your match. But uh... Yeah, spectator mode, it's going to be an improved spectator mode, it's not going to be like, oh, uh, your team is full, here, look, look at random parts of the map, it's going to be here, you can spectate players on each side of the game, and uh, I don't know if it's going to be like first person spectating, or if it's only going to be third person spectating, I'm assuming it's going to be first person, but uh, we don't know just yet, they've only said that they're releasing a spectator mode, hopefully it's first person spectating, and that'll be fantastic. But right now, we're just unsure of exactly what they meant by spectator mode. Anyways, that is all of the information we have right now for Modern Combat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that I actually haven't made a video in a while. I've been focusing on some college stuff, but uh, you don't need to worry about that. I'm, I'm not dead. So, e. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Hacks, and I'll see you next time. Peace.